Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to reverse your video. So maybe you're telling a story and you want to reverse the video to change the way the story is perceived to your audience. Maybe there's something in that video that you don't want to reveal right away. So you're going to reverse the video to reveal it afterwards. There's a couple different reasons why you might want to do this. Usually just to add interest or change the way that your shot looks. So enough about the reasons why you want to do it. Let's head on into the program and I'll show you how. So now that we have Adobe Premiere Elements opened up in expert mode, the first thing you want to do is head up to the project assets and add some media to your timeline. So now that you have your videos down in your timeline, I'm going to show you how easy it is to reverse them to change the look and feel of the video. So let's get started. So on the first one here, I just have a kind of quick little flyby. So as the drone goes over, it's flying across and then you get the reveal of where we are. Now maybe I want to show where we are first and then reveal what we're doing. So it's actually quite simple to reverse a clip. What you want to do is right click on the clip, head to the clip menu, and then you want to head to time stretch. And in time stretch here, if you don't want to change the speed, leave it at 100. You just want to reverse the speed. So we'll click on reverse speed, click OK. And now let's play back the clip. So now you can see the clip starts showing where we are and it is in reverse across. So it gives a different effect. I have a couple more here. Let's do this one. So if we were to watch this clip here, you'd see we have a beautiful waterfall. It's kind of the drone is flying across over the creek itself and it's, it's very pretty. So you see the waterfall. But in this case, maybe I want to show the creek first and then the waterfall. Again, changing the feel of the video. So what we're going to do, right click, click on clip, click on time stretch, reverse speed, click OK. Now let's have a look and see what our clip looks like. So now we're going across the water. You see the creek and then the reveal of the bigger waterfall comes last. I kind of prefer the feel of this shot in reverse, but what you'll notice is happening is the water is also flowing upwards. So somebody might catch on, somebody might not, but if you look closely, because we're playing the clip back in reverse, the water is actually flowing up in the waterfall. So kind of an interesting effect. So again, if you are going to use the reverse, you kind of want to look at what is in the video and if the human eye will catch that you're playing it back in reverse. So for this example here, the drone flies down and shows the car. But if we want to change that, we can click on clip, click on time stretch, reverse speed, click OK. And now when we play back the clip, it's going to show the car, but then it's going to fly out and then show the driveway. Uh, last one here, I think we have a couple, a couple more, but this one's pretty simple. It's just a kind of a fly out. But if we want to change that to a fly in, click on clip, time stretch, reverse speed, click OK. And now when we play back the clip, the drone's starting in the air and kind of flying down into where we are, which this kind of more sets the mood and shows, hey, we're here, and then flies down and shows us at our destination. And that clip, you can't really tell that much is in reverse speed. So that's a good one to, uh, to use a reverse for. Uh, the last one here is just a drone fly through. So again, change this one around, clip, time stretch, reverse speed, click OK. And when we play this back, we're going to see the water first. Then we're going to have the drone move in. You're wondering, whoa, it just went into a car and then it exited the car. So that's a little bit better than seeing the car first and expecting that it's going to go through the car. This way you showed where you were first and then revealed the car. 
So I will often reverse the speed, especially with drone clips, to kind of change the feel of the story, to change what the viewer sees, and to reveal something later that I don't want to reveal right away. So there you have it, a simple and easy way to add interest or change the elements of your project by reversing a video. If you learned something new and you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you go down below and smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video, while you're down there, hit that like button. It really does make a difference. And until next time, take it easy out there.